So hello, our group is considered of myself, uh, Manuel, Jeffrey, Asia, and Omima, and our group project name is a Homeless Health Improvement Project. So the Hello Homeless Health Improvement is a program involving hospitals and homeless population. It is centered towards homeless that are recently admitted into hospitals and incentivizes them to come back for a checkup to ensure proper healing by the opportunity to get a free meal from the hospital cafeteria. Homelessness is a growing problem around the world. Once on the streets, the lack of financial stability and support make it difficult to get back into a safe and comfortable home. Seeing how many are affected by this problem, we decided to base our opportunity statement around it by asking ourselves, how can the community of Denver come together to provide a greater resource for the homeless population by making networks that give them greater access to healthcare systems? For the discovery portion of the DI process, we identified the main stakeholders, which are homeless population and hospitals, and then the affinity analysis gave insights into key needs across each population, which are shown to my right. So for our system function model identified, we were able to identify eight different um, insights for our project. And for our hierarchy of purpose, we were able to come up with why is medical care so expensive for homeless? Uh, why are homeless readmitted more? How can we increase the frequency of checkups for more demographics, increase communication and meal customization for our incentive? For our first sprint, we generated concepts like weekly checkups for homeless that pair with a free meal at the end of their visit, partner systems where volunteers stay in contact with the patient, and information on how injuries occur and how to prevent them. For the second sprint, we tackled our opportunity statement by coming up with concepts like self-help and staff-assisted computers that will provide information gathering questionnaires, special assistance for those with common disabilities, questionnaires with meal options, and instructions for the process that will be explained to both the patient and staff. We use a uh, design uh, from the acceleration model. Uh, the prototype test uh, first, the feedback received about notification the questionnaire was all positive with the no confusing reporting. The feedback was more critical about the design, stating it needed more background elements. The second uh, prototype test uh, gathered results showing that users prefer the white survey and eight questions links. The third one, uh, test results showing that most of people were of the opinion that questionnaire should be easy and relevant while it should take no longer than one minute. The fourth prototype test uh, the results showing us that the, the best method was the front desk system. It was more effective and done in a much more timely manner than that of the uh, GIACAS. It was also favored by the test takers. For our final prototype, mm -hmm. we use a storyboard that illustrates the journey one would take while using our system. The storyboard shows a homeless patient visiting for an injury, and after returning for a checkup, the doctor explains to the patient that there is a code on the wristband that can be used to redeem a free meal at the food court. At the food court, the patient uses the system and gets a meal ticket that is taken to the food court staff, who then gives them a free meal. So the benefits of the system. For the homeless, there's quite a few benefits. There are the lower chance of readmittance for treatment they can't afford, as well as a chance to be in a safe environment for a while. The chief among them is the greater chance for them to heal properly. Unlike most people, it is harder for them to get access to a reliable source of water as well as medicine because of living on the streets. This greatly increases the chances of infection because they can't keep their injuries clean, which can lead to a stunted healing and or even worse things. And of course, they get a free meal out of it. Now for the hospital and government, the hospital will have more services that are available for people and then both will save money. The U.S. Department of Urban Development and Housing estimates that it's five times more likely for homeless people to be readmitted into the hospital and will cost hospitals two to four thousand dollars uh, every day they spend. Now, the price of a free checkup, which is next to nothing, and a ten dollar max meal compares nothing to the greatly reduced possibility of readmittance and the money it would save. And when you think about it. Even if they're saving $100 per person, that's still a win for the hospital and government.
Thank you for coming to our presentation.